Alright, so finally we can move on and start working on something a little different. Okay, so let's go into the left view. Take a look here. Alright, so we'll move along and I think we'll do the stuff at the bottom here. The trigger and the grip and all that stuff before we do the scopes. Okay, so I think we'll start with this back guy here. Alright, so as you can tell we can't see anything really, so let's open up our reference. Right, that one's not really going to help, so I'm just going to close it and we'll go back into the asset browser and open up a better angle. Maybe that guy, you can see it fairly good. And this one here is just the handle by itself. Okay. So we'll use a combination of both pictures. And let's just start with a box. Alright, so we'll grab one on the crate panel and just drag one out. Give it a little bit of height. Alright, so let's say maybe uh, 67 on the length, 27 on the width, and we'll figure the height out in a sec. Let's just get this thing centered to the rest of our stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to center the pivot on the box first. Hark tab, fact pivot only, center object, and turn it off. And then we'll just use the align tool again. Click on the barrel. Okay, and all three of these ticked, and both pivot points. And okay. Alright, so now that it's centered, let's move it back to where it needs to be. Okay, and let's figure out how wide it needs to be. And this is definitely where we benefit from having another couple of uh, images in here as blueprints. So we could judge the width a bit better, but that's okay. We'll just have to rely on our pictures. Let's take a look. Alright, so they're not totally wide. Uh, let's go into the uh, modify panel. Alright, let's try maybe 10 on the height and see how that looks. Alright, that's probably pretty close or close enough. Okay, and I'm just uh, thinking here that, as you can see, it breaks into two pieces. And you can definitely see the seam here on this picture. Alright, so I think what we'll do just to make it easier and save some time is we'll just build one side and then just copy it over for the other side. Okay, so we want this to be about 10 wide when it's finished, so for half of that let's just do 5 on the height. Okay, we'll just build one side at a time. Alright, so let's go back to the left view. Right, get rid of this pink color. Okay. And let's convert the box to edible poly. Alright, so first thing we're going to have to do is just bring out these side pieces here. So let's do that first. I'm just going to go into edge and just drag through. Do a connect. We'll do one segment, no pinch, and I'm just going to slide it closer to the top. Alright, say 55 or so, just to where this starts to come out. And okay. Alright, and let's get the poly selected, so I'm just going to go to Polygon and just drag through the center here. Hold Alt and deselect the middle. Alright, just so we're left with these two guys. And we'll just extrude them. Alright, maybe 8 and OK. Alright, let's go to Vertex and just grab the corner ones here, holding control on both sides, and we'll just move them up on the uh, Y just to shape it a bit. Alright, and again, you can see it's not going to match up perfectly, but that's okay. Alright, so just like that. Alright, so now that we have the basic size and shape figured out, let's hide all this other stuff. So we'll go into isolation mode, Alt-Q. Alright, and I think the first thing we're going to want to do is just delete the back polygons. Alright, just to get them out of our way. Okay, so we'll go around to the back and just select those five, or those four, and delete them. Alright, and we'll go back to the left view taking our look here. Alright, so the corners are fairly rounded out, as you can see. Um, and I think I'm going to try to avoid using subdivision on this piece if I can, just because I think it's going to take forever for us to actually add all the support edges and everything we need in here. So, I think we'll just use chamfer and try to round the corners over. Okay, so let's go to edge, and I'm just going to drag over around the bottom. Alright, hold alt, deselect the sides, hold alt, deselect the center. Alright, so we just have the bottom two corners selected. Okay, and let's just open up chamfer. Alright, and we'll go up a bit here. Maybe like three. Alright, and hit apply. And we'll lower this one down. Alright, let's say maybe uh, 1.15 for the second one. And we could probably even do a third one here while we're at it, so let's hit apply one more time. 
and just lower the third amount down. Just try to kind of even out the edges there. Say yeah, 0 0.45 and OK. Right, so just like that, so we're kind of have a nice rounded corner. And then we're going to have to do these guys up here as well. Right, as you can see. So we'll just do it the same way. We're going to make a bit of a mess, but we can clean that up after. All right, so let's select these guys on the sides. And hold control and get these guys on this side. And I think I might do this one too while we're at it. So let's grab that guy. All right, so all five. And I'm going to do this in the left view just so I can judge the, uh, the angle a little better. Okay, so let's open up chamfer. All right, I'll just go up a bit here. Maybe two or so. Okay, and we'll hit apply. All right, and you can see we're going to make a mess, but let's not worry about that. Let's just concentrate on the uh, shape. All right, check this out perspective. All right, so I might do, say, 0.8 on these ones. All right, and OK, All right, just like that. All right, so let's just clean this up quickly before we uh, do anything else. All right, so back in the left view, I'm just going to be on edge here and just grab this chunk of edges. Go to the other side, control click these guys. All right, we'll just hit control backspace to get rid of them. All right, you can see we got a bit of a problem there. All right, so let's go into perspective and check it out. So you can see our face is kind of overlapping the edge there. Okay, so to fix that, I'm just going to go to Vertex, select this one here, control click this one, and just do a connect. Okay, to connect them up, and we'll do this guy too while we're at it. All right, connect, just like that. Same with this side. All right, just like that. We have a triangle here, but that's, uh, that's fine, because we're not going to be uh, subdividing it, so it shouldn't give us too much of a problem. Okay. All right, and I don't think we actually need these edges anymore. So let's go to Edge and grab these two guys and do a loop and Control Backspace right, to get rid of the edges and the verts. All right, just so it's a little cleaner. All right, so before we go any far, let's do a save. All right, let's connect these guys up. So let's go to Vertex. And I'm just going to select one of these guys and one across from it. Connect. Alright, just so they're all connected up. Okay, and let's go to Edge. And I'm just going to select all these guys across the front there and do a loop. Alright, just like that. And then let's just chamfer these guys one more time. And chamfer. And we'll lower the amount down. I just want to kind of smooth it out as best I can. All right, so maybe uh, 0.3 and OK. All right, so just like that. All right, so let's take another look at our reference. All right, you can see the the front of it kind of rounds over a bit here on the edge. All right, so let's do that next. Okay, so I'm going to go to Polygon and just grab all the front polygons. All right, we can deselect the top. So just these guys, so 17, okay, and I'm just going to extrude them a little bit, All right, not too much, maybe like two, and okay, and then let's go into the left view. All right, and I'm just going to go to scale, and I'm just going to scale them in a little bit on the X axis, okay, just a bit like that. All right. And if you look in the left view here, you can see this isn't really even. It's a little wider at the top. Okay, so let's go to Vertex. Zoom in here, and I'm just going to grab all these guys. All right, on each side. All right, so 16, and we'll just scale these guys out a little bit on the X. All right, just a bit. I'm just going to undo that, Control-Z, make sure I get the top two. All right, and then we'll scale out All right, just a little bit, just to kind of even out the uh, the bevel there. All right, and let's go down and fix the bottom. Okay, so just going to grab this guy here and this one here. Okay, and we'll just move these guys up a bit. 
there just like that, and then let's do these guys. Alright, move them up. Alright, just kind of try to even out the, the corner. So I'm kind of making a mess of it. Just get these guys moving down a little bit. Okay. Just so it's fairly even. Doesn't have to be perfect. Alright, just like that. Okay. And let's take another look. Alright, so there's this inset piece here where the grip is, and it looks like it comes to almost the bottom. Alright, so. Let's connect one of these guys up, just so we have a bottom edge. All right, I think I'll do maybe the third one down on each side. Okay, those two, and connect. All right, just like that. Okay, and let's actually cut in the side seams here. All right, so we'll go back to edge. Right, we might actually be able to delete the top polygons. Let's do that first. All right, grab those, delete them just to make this a little easier. Okay, we'll go back to edge, and I'm just going to drag through down the center, and we'll stop with this one here. Alright, just like that, and we'll do a connect. Okay, and we'll do two segments, no slide, and I'm just going to pinch them apart a bit. Maybe 70 or so on the pinch, and okay. Alright, just like that. And let's straighten them out, so I'm going to do that in the left view. Alright, so I'm just going to grab one of these edges on our new loop, and loop it, control click vertex, okay, and we'll just straighten these out with the make planar options, okay, so let's go down there and hit X, alright, and it straightens it out, and we're going to have to move it over a bit, so I'm just going to drag all those verts over, alright, just a bit like that, okay, we'll do the same for this side, back to edge, do a loop, control click vertex, and then go down and hit X. Alright, and then move it in. Right, just try to even them out, kind of. Alright, either side. Just like that, okay. Alright, we're gonna have kind of a nasty looking mesh, but that's okay. Alright, so let's take one more look. Alright, so it looks like it's, it's pushed in a little bit here. Okay, so let's go back to Polygon. Right, and just grab all these center ones that make up that inset piece. Okay, and let's just inset them a bit. And right, we'll open up extrude. And I'm just going to lower it down to a negative uh, amount. And we'll just push it in a bit, maybe 1.5. Okay, right, just let's push it in, and let's get that polygon and delete it. All right, so just like that. Okay, and let's go back to edge. And I'm just going to grab all these guys in the center. Hold control and grab these two down here. Alright, I'm not going to go all the way around the bottom. I'm just going to stop at that one there. Okay. And let's add some segments. So I'm going to go connect. Alright, we'll do no pinch, no slide. And I'm just going to do maybe 10 segments or so across the center. And okay. Alright, let's look at the left view. It's probably easier. Alright, so just 10 segments and then let's chamfer for those new edges. Just wanted to be kind of even, so we'll do maybe uh, 0 0.44 and OK. All right, just like that. And let's zoom in here. And I'm still on edge. I'm just going to select an edge on every second uh, section here. All right, so we'll do one, skip one, and then do the next, and so on. All right, all the way across. So 10. OK. And then let's do a ring and control click polygon. All right, just to get a polygon selection like that. Alright, we're going to have to deselect some of the ones at the bottom here, so let's zoom in. Alright, so I'm just going to hold down Alt and just deselect all those ones there. Alright. And then let's uh, bevel these, so I'm going to open up bevel. Alright, we'll lower the height down. And I think I'll do 1.5 on the height. 
because right, that's how far we push this in, so that'll make these match the uh, surface. All right, and let's up the outline amount to untwist them. All right, maybe negative 0.2 on the outline amount, and OK. All right, so just like that. I'm just going to go down to the bottom here. We're going to have to uh, do some welding. All right, so let's go into the left view so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, so I'm going to zoom in here on the bottom of these uh, pieces. All right, and I'm still on polygon here. I'm just going to go along and select the bottom polygon on each one of those pieces. All right, holding control. All right, all the way across. So 10, and then we'll delete those guys by hitting delete. All right, and let's go to vertex, and I'm just going to grab all those verts. Okay, just the upper ones. All right, so 20. All right, and let's just move them down. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in here. We can go into wireframe F3. All right, so I'm going to move them down and just try to center them. So everything's even on one edge, okay? Zoom in here so we can see. Just gonna hit Z. Alright, so just like that, just so they're flat on the bottom. Okay. And let's go back to polygon. Alright, and I'm just gonna select these polys here. Alright, the ones underneath are extruded pieces. All the way along. Alright, so 10 again and delete. Alright, and let's go to Vertex, and I'm going to go to Target Weld, alright, and we'll just click on the outside one, and go over and click on the inner ones to weld them together, alright, just like that, and you just want to make sure you're going from the outside to the inside, alright, so if we went the opposite way we'd lose our bevel, okay, so, alright, we'll just go along and do that on each one, just to close everything up so it's solid. just like that, and we can exit target weld. Alright, just to make sure everything's welded up so we won't have a problem when we try to chamfer these edges. Okay. Alright, so we're getting there. Let's do a save. Alright, so just looking at the sides here. And we might want to chamfer this edge here a little bit. So let's go to uh, Edge, and I'm just going to grab this, and we'll see if we can loop it. Alright, so we'll loop it all the way around to the top. Okay, and we'll just chamfer this down a bit. Alright, so chamfer, and I'm just going to raise the amount. Alright, we'll do maybe one, and I'm going to hit Apply, and we'll lower the second amount down. Alright, we'll do 0.5 for the second one. Okay, just to smooth things out a bit, and OK. Alright. We might want to do this one as well. I think I'll leave that one for now. Might not need to do it. Alright, so for the top up here, I'm just going to go to border. Alright, just grab the, the border there. Alright, it's going to select all the way around the back because we don't have any polys there. Okay, so I'm going to control click edge. Alright, just to convert the uh, border selection to edge selection. And I'm going to hold alt and just deselect everything that isn't on the top. Alright, just so we're left with just the top outline here. Looks like it should be 35 edges, okay? And I'm just going to hold down shift and just uh, drag up on the Z to clone the edge up a bit. Alright, doesn't have to be a lot, we'll just go up a bit, like that. Alright. And we can probably start closing this in now, so hold do down uh, alt again all right and just deselect the side ones all right like that so we're just left with the uh, center edge here 25 edges okay and let's hold down shift one more time and I'm just gonna pull this in a bit all right just like that okay and we'll stop all right and let's uh, control click vertex all right and let's go down to the uh, make planar options. And we'll just hit the Z axis. Alright, just to snap them all in a straight line. 
Alright, just like that. And I think we're going to have to weld a couple of these. So let's uh, grab these two guys here. Alright, we'll go up. You can always check. See, we have two, so let's weld. Alright, let's see with the other side. And weld. Alright, so it's all one piece. All right. And I think I'll just pull this edge to the back. Oh, go back to edge. Alright, so I'm just going to drag it back. Right, so it's kind of even with this back edge. Just like that. Okay. Alright, so let's just close the end in here. Alright, I'm just going to do it really quickly, so let's go to Polygon. Alright, we'll go down to Create. Okay, and I'm just going to click on this vert here. And just go along and just click on each vert. Alright. And back to where we started. Alright, and then right click. Alright, so we'll just fill that in with a polygon and we'll do the same on the other side. Alright, this will just be a little quicker than actually, you know, cutting edges in and trying to weld this thing up. Alright, so we'll just trace that hole. Alright, just like that, and we can exit polygon. Okay, just so it's all closed up. Alright, so now we're going to have to start actually chamfering all these edges. Alright, so it's going to take a few minutes, but uh, that's okay. Alright, before we do that, let's uh, save. It'll probably be a good idea. Alright, so before we actually start chamfering, I'm just going to go in here to this inside corner and just check this out, because I still think there's probably something weird with it. Alright, so let's go into the modify panel. I'm just going to go to Vertex. Alright, just select that vert, and I'm just going to move it. Alright, so yeah, we're getting a bit of a problem there. Alright, so undo, control Z. Alright, so just gonna fix this now so I don't forget about it. Okay, so let's exit vertex and go to cut. Okay, I'm just gonna cut from this edge here on the outside all the way across to that point. Alright, click and then right click. Alright, same with this side. Alright. So let's zoom in here. I'm just going to exit cut and go to vertex. Alright, I'm just going to move that vert. Alright, and you can see we have a face in here. So I'm just going to select that with polygon and delete it. Alright, delete. And I'm going to go to vertex and target weld. Alright, just weld this vert to this vert. Okay. Just like that. Just to fix the problem. And we'll do the same on the other side. Alright, so zoom in here. Select a vert. I'm just going to move it over a bit. Select this guy, delete it, go back to vert, and then target weld it over to the corner. Alright, just like that, we can exit target weld and exit vertex. Alright, so that should take care of that. Alright, so now we're going to have to uh, chamfer all the edges down. Alright, so let's go into the left view. Alright, just going to zoom in here. Alright, so I think what I'll do. Uh, try to use as quick as possible. It's going to be a lot of edges, so let's just go to edge here. All right, so I'm just going to drag a selection around the top of these uh, extruded pieces. All right, and I think I'll get the sides while we're at it. All right, holding control. All right, so all these guys. And I'm just going to hold Alt and just deselect these ones here. All right, I'll leave the corner selected. All right, and we don't really need these guys across the top, so let's uh, deselect those. Alright, so just like that, and I'm just going to hit loop. Alright, I'll we'll probably still have to deselect some. Just going to try to get the center portion selected. Alright, so we'll go down to the bottom here, hold control, and I'm just going to drag through the bottom of these guys. Okay. Like that, and let's check it out. Just want to make sure I'm not going to miss anything. And again, it is a lot of edges. So we just want to be careful we're not going to miss any. Alright, it looks okay. So I'm just going to go into the bottom here and hold Alt and just deselect this one on the side and this one on this side. Alright, we don't need to do those. Okay, we'll go back up. Alright, zoom in here. Right, so we're going to need this top edge too, so I'm just going to uh, just control click along here. Okay, and we'll just go around the top. Alright, just to the corner, we don't need to do the back edge. Alright, same with this side. Alright, 
Let's take one more look here, make sure I don't forget anything. Right, I think that's pretty much all the ones we need to do. Alright, so it looks like 906. Alright, so let's chamfer. We'll see if this uh, turns out okay. So I'm going to go to chamfer and just lower the amount down. Right, just take a look and make sure we don't have any problems. Alright, it looks okay up there. Let's check the bottom out. Alright, so we'll do maybe... Uh, 0.12 or so, and hit OK. Alright, and we can exit edge now. Alright, so I'm just going to turn my edges off of F4. Alright, take a look, it's pretty rough looking. Alright, if we do a render, it's not going to probably look too great. Let's uh, hit render. Alright, you can see it's kind of fauceted again on the sides there, so uh, let's try putting the smooth modifier on and see if that helps. Alright, so smooth, auto smooth. OK, and we'll just render again. Just take a look. All right, it's not going to be perfectly smooth because we're not turbo smoothing it, but just want to get it smooth enough. All right, so I'm just going to delete the, the uh, smooth modifier temporarily. All right, I think I want to do this edge here, so let's go back to edge. All right, I'm just going to grab this one here. All right, and do a loop. Okay, and it's probably not going to go all the way around, so let's just go down to the bottom. Alright, hold control and we'll just follow this edge around to the other side. Alright, I'm just going to hit loop when I get to the other side. Alright, just like that. And let's chamfer this guy down. So chamfer. Alright, we'll just go up a little bit on this. Check the bottom out, make sure it's going to be okay. Alright, looks okay. So we'll say 0.35 and hit okay. Alright, so I think that's, you know, probably good enough for the handle. Um, we'll have to add the hole for the screw in a second, but let's just render again and see what it looks like. Alright, let's put the smooth modifier back on. And auto smooth. Alright, so it's probably smooth enough. Alright, if you get in there close, it might not look too great, but. Um, I think it's uh, okay for what we need it to do. Alright, so let's just save so we don't have to redo that stuff if we have a crash. So let's take one more look at our reference. Alright, so it has these screw holes here. I'm not sure if these are screws, but uh, this looks like some sort of screw. Alright, so we're going to have to make a decision on whether or not we want to actually cut that hole into the front of this. Alright, and that's going to be a little tricky to do, and it's also going to be, you know, kind of time consuming. So I think in this case I might just uh, leave the hole out of it, and I'll just put a screw on the front. Alright, you could actually do that if you wanted to take more time, but, uh, you know, we spent quite a bit of time on this piece, so I think I'm just going to do it uh, on the outside just to make it a little quicker. Alright, so... I'm just going to go into the left view here. Okay, we'll zoom in, try to find the center of this thing. Alright, let's take one more look. Alright, so it's kind of hard to tell what that looks like. It doesn't actually really look like a screw. It looks more like a little pin or something. Okay, so let's just make a quick one out of a cylinder. Alright, so I'm just going to drag one out here. And we'll just give it a bit of height. Okay, and let's uh, align it to our handle so you can judge the size better. Alright, so there it is over there. So I'm just going to select the handle and center the pivot on it again, just to make sure it's uh, in the middle. Okay, and then we'll grab our cylinder there and just use the align tool one more time. Click on the handle, X, Y, and Z, and both pivot points, and OK. Alright, so let's take a look here. Alright, so let's go into the modify panel, and I'm just going to make the radius maybe 1.8 or so, okay, and the height doesn't matter, we'll do that manually. Let's get rid of the height segments by right-clicking the spinner, 
Okay, and the sides, I'm just going to put them up to like 30 or so, all right, just so it's somewhat smooth and round. Okay. I'm just going to jump into the front view. All right, let's convert it to edible poly. All right, I'm just going to go to vertex and just push these verts in a little bit. All right, just so it's not sticking out so far. All right, I might grab the back ones as well and just move them forward a bit. All right, just so it's not so thick. All right, so let's go to polygon and just grab this uh, outer polygon here and do an inset. All right, just take one more look here. All right, so it looks like the center is kind of extruded out. All right, so let's do maybe point uh, eight or so on the inset and hit OK, and then I'm going to extrude that. All right, so extrude. And we'll just do it a little bit. Maybe not too far. All right, we'll say 0.6 or so, and hit OK. All right, and then I'm just going to go to Edge, and we'll just chamfer some of the edges. All right, so let's uh, grab this polygon again, and control click Edge, convert the selection, then chamfer. All right, and we could probably do a double here, so I'm going to do point 0.1, hit Apply, and then we'll lower it down. All right, maybe 0.04, and OK. Now let's do this one. Loop, chamfer. All right, I might just leave that at 0.04, hit OK, and then we'll do this guy here. Loop, chamfer. And we'll just go up a bit on this one. All right, maybe 0.15, hit Apply. We'll just roll it over a bit. Right, maybe 0.05 on the second one, and OK. All right, we don't really need the back polygon, so I'm just going to go to Polygon, go into Wireframe F3, and just spin around to the back and select that back one, and delete it. OK. All right, so just like that. All right, so this isn't going to be you know as detailed as, as if we had actually put the hole in, but um, again, I'm just going to try to you know go a little quicker for this piece. All right, but you could definitely do that if you wanted to. All right, so let's exit polygon and just name this. All right, I'm just going to select the uh, the handle here and then let's name this piece. We never did do it. All right, so I'm just going to call it maybe rear grip or something just so I know what it is. Okay, and I'm just going to copy that name out. Control C and I'm going to paste it on my little screw bolt thing there. All right. V and I'll just call it uh, bolt or something just so I know what it is. All right, and let's change the color. Throw our blue on there. Okay, and I think we're going to need the smooth modifier here. All right, so let's put one of those on. And auto smooth. All right, so I think that'll be okay. All right, it is a pretty tiny detail, so as long as there's something there, it'll look uh, it'll look right. Okay, so for these two guys up here, they're not really screw holes. I don't know what's with them. So I think I might just uh, maybe put a little cylinder or something there just to give the appearance that there's something there to match up with the reference. Okay, so let's go back into the left view. All right, I'm just going to go up to the top here. And we'll just do the same thing. Grab a cylinder. Right, just drag one out here, we'll center it in a second. Alright, might go a little smaller on this one. Alright, just give it some height and then let's figure out how big it should be. Alright, let's say maybe uh, 1.15 on the radius for that one. And I'll leave the uh, sides at 30. Okay, and let's just make sure it's centered. So I'm going to go to the align tool, click on the handle, and just hit OK. All right, and I'll just move it back up to where we need it to be. All right, I think I'm going to center it between these two edges here. All right, zoom in here. Just going to slide it over a little bit. All right, so like that, and then let's move it into place. All right, I'll just stick it out in the front there a bit. Okay, and let's convert to a poly. Go to Polygon, grab that front one, control click edge, and we'll just round over the edges a bit. 
Alright, with chamfer. Alright, maybe point 0.1, and we'll say apply, and then we'll lower it down again. Alright, maybe point 0.04, and hit OK. Alright, just gonna hit Z here. Alright, so it's kind of sticking through the side, as you can see. Alright, so I'm just gonna maybe take the, uh, the radius down a tiny bit with scale. Okay, so we'll just go to scale and scale on the triangle, just slightly. Alright, just so we don't have anything punching through the sides. Alright, that'll look a little better. Okay, and let's chuck the smooth modifier on this guy. Just gonna change the color first. Alright, smooth, auto smooth. Alright, just like that. Alright, pretty simple, but uh, again, take more time if you uh, want to, because you can probably definitely get a better result. Alright, so let's copy the name off of this guy and paste it on our new piece. Alright, I'm just gonna add a 2 to the end of that. Okay, and we'll just move one down and copy it down there. Alright, so shift drag on the Z axis down to the bottom. Alright, and for this one I'm just going to name it 3 and OK. And we'll go back to the left view and just try to even them out a bit. Right, so just like that, that's probably uh, fine for this piece. Okay, so let's save one more time.